Hi everybody, welcome back to the Gigi and Ollie show. Happy Sunday. If you could take a moment to hit that thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it, as so would Ollie, even though today is just me. And we'd love for you to join our charmed family, so ring my bell. Tomorrow, Ollie will be here. I'm not sure if he'll be doing a video Monday or Tuesday. He will be spending the night. We will be doing our 300 giveaway, announcing it. He will be setting it up, so I'm going to let him handle all that. This is going to be a Kroger grocery haul. I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been at. Um, the week before last, I'd had Little Man for four days. He left that Thursday morning. Mimi had been very sick. Me and her text and message a thousand times a day. I had not heard from her since that Monday. That's how sick she was. So... She does self-care, I guess you call it. Like, takes all these vitamins and stuff, so she really doesn't go to doctor, doctors and stuff. I mean, that's her choice. She's a grown woman. She's never really had a reason to have to go to the doctor. Um, any type of sickness or anything. Other than, you know, a cold or a headache. Well, when I got the phone call Thursday, right before Ollie was leaving, it, from, it was Mimi's phone calling me. And I was so happy, because I'm like, oh, she's feeling better. And I answer all excited, and it's mom. The ambulance is on the way to get Mimi. And I, th oh my God, I didn't know it was that serious. Um, I'm going to tell you what she said I could tell you guys. She has a severe bacterial infection. Um, very scary. She, I went and stayed with her once they released her from the hospital the same day, Thursday. I stayed with her until, I don't know if it was till the this past Tuesday or Wednesday. My days are so mixed up. They gave her an abiotic. No difference. She can't walk. She can't sit up. She has double vision at times. I mean, it was... I mean, I have to walk her every... I mean, she can't do anything for herself. And I've never seen her like this in my life. So they called Monday, I believe, the emergency room to do a follow-up. You know, oh, are you all right? After she'd already called twice because she said, I'm not getting no relief. But they're just like, oh, keep taking it. The antibiotic. Well, nurse calls and they're like, stop taking that antibiotic. And I hear her on the phone and she's like, I just took it. And I'm like, oh, my God, what did we do wrong? Um, they had prescribed her the wrong medication. It was worse than they had thought. So, she's not completely better, but she can now be home alone. She cannot stand and cook or anything like that. She is not able to do her summer school teaching for the past week. And, um, I am going there again tomorrow. And I went there a day ago? I don't know. Went there and, like, made sandwiches and easy stuff for her to get. And, um... So grateful. Everybody thought I was crazy. I found that dry shampoo at Dollar Tree, that free membrane. Well, glad I had that because I got to, had to, I went and did her hair for her. Smelled really good. It, it's a good product. So I'm glad I per made that nonsense purchase, I had been told. But, um, yeah, we needed it. And so that worked out because she can't even bend over for me to wash her hair for her. That's impossible. To help her. So, um, she's about, um, she said, and I have horrible allergies and have been bitten by mosquitoes from my chest down. It's horrible. Huge welts. So, she's about 75% better. But she still cannot stand for any amount of time. Like, she can't go into a store or anything or do anything like that. She cooks some ramen. She can't cook any other meals. It's insane. All the rooms are moving, and she did not appreciate it. The carnival was in town. Well, a town near her. And I was helping her walk, and I'm like, gosh, when I'm going to make it this year to go ride the Tilda Whirl? She got mad as hell. So anyway, you know, sisters have to pick on each other. Um, last night, she did call me, and she sounded a little better, and she said she hasn't been able to shop online, and that's her thing, shopping online. And finding the deals. And she's like, there's a big... I have a bunch of things, to Kroger discounts. Um, I have been wanting some fresh produce. And I'm like, okay, 40, 50 bucks, get me produce. Then she texted back and said, well, I got a bunch of coupons. So I'm like, okay, don't spend over 200. 
So all this is surprises. Most of it's still in bags because I am just covered with welts and bites. And what I knew went in the fridge, I shoved in the fridge, and I haven't even looked at stuff hardly. And she called me last night, and she's like, you haven't done that video? I want to see everything you got. So, because it was Instacart. I believe that's what it's called, and she had it delivered to me. So, this video is for your, you, Mimi. As for Mom, um, they did get her in Friday for an emergency visit at a specialist. All they did was vitals and blood work and told her the same thing. You need these certain tests done, and it may take weeks to get you in. I just think, I don't care who you are, I'm not just saying this because it's my mother, you know there's cancellations and stuff. If somebody needs a specialist and there's a cancellation, they need to call the priority people first to get them in that need it done. Not people that are just going in for their yearly checkup. About, you know what I mean. People that are having horrible symptoms and stuff. So we've been dealing with that also. So I'll be going to town tomorrow. Me and little man, he'll be here in the morning. And we're going to go check on Mimi and Grandma Snacks. But... Mimi did, right before she got sick, got this set for Scaredy Boo from Amazon, a container of, during the Amazon sales. Speaking of that, she heard her name, um, Cat Crack. Just like catnip. Oh, what is you doing? She doesn't understand um, yet. I told her she could have the window open today and sit in the screen, but as of tomorrow, this coming, starting tomorrow, Monday... Our heat temperature is going to be over 110 here in Illinois. Not the heat index. I can only imagine what the heat index is going to be. So Gigi's window ain't going to be open then. But, of course, she doesn't understand that, but I keep telling her. So, let's get this haul started. Sorry for all the rambling. But I just want to tell everybody what's going on. i got to move my chair, guys. Okay. Let's get this started. First off. I'm, like I said, I don't even know. I'm just going to grab stuff. Because all I said was produce, milk, and bread. Uh, do the rest, Mimi. She got me these pure strawberry fruit bars. Those look delicious, and I love that color. I'm always a sucker for pinks and reds. What are you doing, scaredy? I love this brand, Telemook. Um, I got the strawberry ice cream. Little man is always wanting ice cream, and I never have it because I'm not really an ice cream person. And after we went to Dairy Queen a few weeks ago and paid, was it seven bucks, seven forty-two for a little bitty small blizzard? No, never again. We'll make those at home. A dozen of eggs. What I ate since she said she did get me a big thing of sushi, it was amazing. I think I'm the only person in the family that eats sushi. I know I am. And from Kroger, it was amazing. And I threw the package away. But, oh my gosh, it was delicious. Flounder. I don't think I've ever had flounder, but I want to do fish tacos. I have a whole list of all kinds of cooking recipes. I know it won't be the best videoing, but I've got to start doing them. I got to because I cook so much and then you guys love watching me cook and I've got a bunch of new recipes to try and if they fail I want to fail with you guys <laughs> this one is Tillamook chocolate and peanut butter so that's all the ice cream she also got me this brand home chef it was a flat bread bacon cheeseburger pizza, like served maybe an adult and a child or one adult. I cooked that that night. It was delicious. But she also got me the Home Chef Italian Style Supreme Pizza. If it's anything like the flat bread one, this is going to be good too. <clears throat> she got me a jicama. A jicama. Um, I've had this once in slaw and like an Asian slaw and it tastes like I do not like pears everybody's like it tastes like a pear no if it tastes like a pear I would not eat it tastes sort of apple-y but I love the crunch more of a crunch than anything and I want to make a slaw and I want to make fish tacos 
I've wanted to make fish tacos forever. A big bag of fresh green beans that I had sitting on the kitchen floor that Spirity keeps playing with. These look amazing, I must say. I want to go to a local, well, Mimi found it, of course, a local, um, well, it's about 20 miles away. What do you call it? Like a produce, a family has a big produce thing, farm, but um, she hasn't felt good, and I want to go, me and her to go together so I can have her help. These are absolutely beautiful. I thought they were peaches. I think they're nectarines, though. She got me... I, oh, no, there's both. Oh, little apricots. Are these apricots? I don't know. I love any fruit, so... Except for a pear. See, this one feels like a peach, because it feels fuzzy, but these ones, I think, are nectarines. Not sure. I don't know. I'll love them. A loaf of bread, since little man will be here. I know it's not his fluffy bread from Dollar Tree. I've got to get to Dollar Tree and get that. <coughs> oh, I keep coughing too. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm trying not to itch. I'm trying to ignore it. For the candy jar, because little man was here for four days. Nestle Crunch. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And little Twix Bars. He gets a treat once in a while with Gigi. He has to. That's what Gigi's do. Oh, wow. Fresh Brussels sprouts. Love them. Oh, my God. I do these in the oven. Well, I've never had fresh. I do the fro. I might do the fresh ones. I with onions and bacon and... Oh, my God. Everybody's... I hate Brussels sprouts. I've watched grown men fight over my Brussels sprouts. Seriously. Nicholas being one. He hates Brussels sprouts. He is addicted to them when I... I only do them on holidays normal, but I'll be surprising him. For yellow squash. I love yellow squash. My dad invented two recipes with this. I would love to show you guys one. I'll only be able to do one with these four, but I need to show you guys one of them. It'd have to be this week because the produce, you know, has to get used. Oh, no, I got more yellow squash. Yeah, but I think I can still only do one recipe with it. Two baby zucchini. I can add those to it, too, in case I do a stir fry. I'm just going to set the camera and start cooking for you guys. Like it or lump it. My grandma always said that. Like it or lump it. When she was, like, yelling at us. She hardly ever yelled at us, though. But when she did, she meant business. I believe these are parsnips, and my grandpa used to grow these, and I loved them, oh my god, cleaned, cut up, boiled, with like um, butter, garlic, salt, and pepper. They were so good, so I liked them when I was little, I haven't had them, so I'm hoping I will like them, and they have tons of vitamins in them, I do know that. You guys can probably hear scaredy. A bag of, these gotta be white. Nope, yellow onions. I mean, it doesn't matter to me what color the onion is, but I thought they were white. A bag of yellow onions. A gallon of milk. Two acorn squash. Um, I'm not sure yet. If anybody knows anything, please give me an idea. I know I've had it, but I don't know if I've ever cooked with it. That I can recall. Bok choy, because I want to do a stir fry. I mean, this is all surprises. I've never purchased bok choy in my life. And she said they had the Asian lawn beans I've been searching for, but they were sold out. I couldn't find those at the Asian market. Ooh, that is pretty. Bok choy. That will be good. You're acting wild, Kiki. This is amazing. Never heard of such a thing in my life, neither had she. 
but she said she had to get it because she knew she it was pretty and she knew I'd love it. This is Delicious Wild Violet. Wild Violet. Sweet corn. Creamy and something texture. It is purple. That is so pretty. And she said it looks just like the picture she was shot. A bag of Southwest chopped salad. I've never had this kind. But if it has, I just, if I don't like the, like if it ever comes with ranch dressing, I just save the ranch for whoever else, because everybody else loves a ranch but me. I put it in the fridge, whoever uses it, but I use whatever, like Italian or French or poppy seed. I will not touch ranch with a 10 foot pole. Now, I didn't even get to look through the meat. Well, I guess this isn't all meat. I assumed it was. Tofu. This was a surprise because I love tofu and stir fries. Oh my gosh. Salmon. I love salmon. I've only had it a few times in my life. And I made it like hot honey salmon. Oh, it was good. And I, everybody's like, oh, my hand got me no good. They loved it. They loved it. Smith seal, Smith sealed, Smithfield tenderloin, pork tenderloin. Some fancy thick cut bacon. Ooh, a few slices of this will go perfect with my Brussels sprouts. Good looking out, sis. This is a bag of beautiful eggplant. Something I've never made in my life is eggplant parmesan, but I, do, I like fried eggplant, though. I think it's delicious. I did make stuffed eggplant once. I think last summer. Filled it with, like, the center of it. Cooked it up. Cheese and meat. Um, I'm pretty sure, sure I used ground beef. And breadcrumbs. It was good. And we hear you. We hear you. Silly goose. Let's see. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are perfect for stir fry and stuff also. I gotta get all this stuff down to the freezer. A pack of thin cut steak, which I just seen a recipe for that. I think I'm just cooking the pizza tonight. I'm not, because when I get done with this, I've got to get, come hell or high water, I gotta get to Dollar General. As much as I don't wanna go anywhere today, but I wanna do it. I mean, I have to do it. Another pack of thin cut steak, which is dripping. And I believe that is it. So what I'm going to do next is get all this stuff put up. Scrub everything off. Um, hey, get down from there. Sorry. She has never done that. She has jumped up by the kitchen sink. How? I didn't see her get up there. It's because the other night I was, she insisted on having a little piece of lunch meat. And I stood there. She tried to jump up there, but didn't get up there. And I told her, no, you do not jump up there. I don't know what she thinks she's doing, but no, she's not doing that. I let her get on the table. That's enough. But, everybody, I love you all, my charms. Please take a second to hit that thumbs up and hit my bell. This was my Kroger haul from Mimi. Hope you enjoyed the surprises as much as I did. And I will be back in a little bit to do this big Dollar General haul. Happy Sunday to all you. Love you all. Bye-bye.